Hey everybody, welcome to the Morphin Grid. I'm Josh. I'm Jake. And this is episode number 20. 20. Where we can almost drink. So Morphin close. Grid is almost old enough to drink <laughs> if an episode is a year. It wasn't. It was basically it's daily. Not. But <laughs> uh, we're almost old enough to eat solid food. Yeah. If it's Those months. little pickled baby wieners that they have in the baby food section. <laughs> what? They're like little hot dogs, but they're they're like really tiny and they're Uh-oh. they're really soft. I remember pickled. the first solid food I ever <laughs> ate was. <laughs> I just like... realized I said baby wieners. <laughs> yeah, that no. isn't right. And I was like, that's back not up, what I meant. Back up. Yeah, I used to eat, when I was a baby. I would eat um, like the oatmeal, but it would have to be so thick that the spoon would stand up. <laughs> if it was any soupier than that, I wouldn't eat it. Because <laughs> I'm a weird kid. Yeah, anyway, I don't eat ramen with water in it, so we're just. <laughs> We're, We're just different. We're all weird all. in different ways. Anyway, though, uh, enough about this completely irrelevant stuff. We're here to talk about episode 20. Green with Evil Part 4, Eclipsing Megazord. Yeah. Um, if you are new here, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> this is weekly, so it's like it's not as funny as if I do it. Like, <laughs> it's not it's, funny it's, anyway. It's daily. It's hilarious. <laughs> to <I'm>, you. <laughs> to you it is. Which is why I keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're but, gonna lose listeners because you keep rehashing the same jokes. No, maybe people like familiarity. Prove fact. Maybe it'll get stale. People don't like John Cena because he's there all the time. Yeah, here's the thing: not, is I will familiar. pretend that I, that wrestling hurts. <laughs> That's the major difference between Cena, you know, and like a foot and a half, and like a bunch of muscles and money, <laughs> and gorgeous girlfriend, whatever. Like fifteen championships. The main difference is that I will sell and he won't. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, what am I doing? Episode twenty. Like we're cutting into the episode. So what we do is we we're gonna, oh no, you're going through your spiel. Yeah, we're going to pause the the podcast. We are going to watch the episode, and then we're going to come back. We're going to talk about it. Uh, we've hit our stride, so I think I think it's going to be a good one, you guys. So we'll see. So in the meantime, smell you later. Cut that. That was awful. That. I don't even. I'm, I don't know how you can smell somebody in the meantime. It's, I don't know why I said in the meantime. <laughs> That's why. In the meantime, listen to this catchy theme song. Yeah. And then when it's over, we'll be back and talk about Power Rangers. Yeah. It's, it's Morphin, Morphin time. time. And we're back. We just watched Green with Evil Part 4, Eclipsing, Eclipsing Megazord. Megazord. Got that in stereo. Ooh, I got chills. <laughs> I, I don't. Well, yeah, it's just different, <laughs> that's all. Um, so before we get started, the place that you can reach us on the internet is... Uh, I mean, you know, you know, morphingrid.tumblr.com. <laughs> we have an email, littleidiots.morphingrid at gmail.com. And we have a Twitter. I almost said Tumblr again. We have a Twitter. It's at Morphin Grid One G. One G. Um, I totally blanked on him. I had. Well, I got the, good thing there's two of us. I got the yips for a second. Um, also, we're on iTunes. Um, we might have a Facebook page up soon. I don't know. We won't this week. Maybe not this week. I don't want to um, do it yet. So we'll get there. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we're on iTunes. If you stop by, want to leave a rating or review, that'd be cool. I'm gonna stop shilling it because I'm getting sick of me talking about it. It's because we're recording so much at once that so we just keep saying the same right. um, stuff. So Plus, yeah. this is all the same week, so you guys know by now this yeah. deal. We don't you know. need to. Um, and I'll still say it again next episode because it's programmed into me. But you know, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna stay on it. <laughs> we're gonna talk about. We spent way too much time on. It. Yep, we're gonna talk about Power Rangers, specifically Green with Evil Part Four, Eclipse Mega Sword. This is a doozy, you guys. This one. Remember how last episode I said something bad's gonna happen this episode because that's how five act structure works. Something bad Some happened. Bad happened. A lot in this of bad episode. stuff happened. We start out with the clip playing on the uh, viewing globe of Goldar shooting fireballs from his eyes. So picked up exactly yep. where we left off. Um, and again, there's gonna be no. He's also just chopping down buildings with the sword. Yeah, he's. They're out There's for blood people today, in there, man. I hope I hope not. They're hope in they downtown Angel Grove. Maybe it's a Sunday. Oh, so businesses are closed. Bus- no, most- because Rita only tags on weekdays. She doesn't tag on the weekend. Oh man, <laughs> I hope they saw him coming, and they're like, "We gotta go." Hopefully, it's either if it's if it's live when I watched it before school, it was before nine. 
<laughs> or the shift at... is nine to five. That's fine. Nobody's there yet. <laughs> um, I used to watch it after school. It was on at like three or four. I think four o'clock on Fox Kids. I think I caught reruns in the morning. Yeah, like, they did replay them like in the morning. Seven yeah, or six. Um, but anyway, they they're the Power Rangers. Are like, let's let's take care of Goldar. It's morphin time, but it isn't. It's not morphin time. Basically, exploding yeah. their hands. Um, yeah, they, they explode the hands. The power goes out. Morphin grid is down. Not us. Not us. The we're, one on the show. We're still up. We're gonna keep running. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, uh, there's some sort of power surge because of the the beam that's trying to get Zordon. That's trying to like find his signal. It's the first first uh, reference to a beam. Yeah, that's looking for him, and they're not just scanning space for him everywhere space and time because he's trapped in a time warp so you think they'd be scanning time but time space is connected so maybe right i don't know can't be in a time without also being in a space in a space i guess i don't know <laughs> we can't uh, talk about that because man <laughs> we'll be here forever so there there's no morphing until the power surge ends then we cut up jason's to- like oh but we go to morph and then alpha Throws out the best customer service go to line. Nothing is, I can do about there's it. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. We cut up to the moon where Finster is like very happy about Goldar attacking for a second, and then he then like he gets sad all of a sudden. He goes, "Oh, I guess the Green Ranger is going to finish him off, and not one of my monsters." Arita's like two inches from his face. He goes, "Yeah." <laughs> 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 Because let's look at the track record. Green Ranger's been around for two days, right? Because Kimberly's still wearing the same outfit. So it's still the same day that it's been for the last yes. three episodes. Um, or two and a half because she changed a little bit into the second of, right, the, right. of the Green Evil. In two days, he has already done more damage to the Power Rangers than the last 16 times Finster had made monsters. It wasn't 16. So it was at least 10 monsters that Finster made. Yeah, definitely. And they all failed. But the green Ranger is basically on track to destroy the power Rangers within a couple of days. Yep. So that's why we're not using your stupid monsters this week. That's why they're not sending someone stupid like pudgy pig or chunky chicken. Right. To fight these superheroes. <laughs> they have their own. Yeah. Superheroes who pilot, Robot dinosaurs that turn into a giant mecha. Like, we still haven't been introduced to the Dragon Zord yet. No, we haven't. And we she makes the Green Ranger grow in this episode. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Towards the end, maybe and she doesn't know about the Dragon Zord. I yet. don't think so. I, I I don't remember the next episode, but I kind of like thought of something that would be neat. <clears throat> that I'm not sure if it's a memory or me projecting. That w- that they that happens next episode. <laughs> so I guess we'll you'll find out tomorrow. If I was right. right or not. But anyway, we go back down to the command center yep. where Jason is getting stir crazy because he can't do anything and he hates that. Yeah, he hates uh, the world's being destroyed. He even says, like, you know, someone's like, Goldar's going to destroy Angel, Gro- Angel Grove. Angle Grove. <laughs> Kurt Angle Grove. And Jason's like, no, if we can't morph, he's going to wreck the world. Like, <laughs> Yeah. He yeah. hates that. He doesn't want him to wreck the no, world. No. That's where he lives. It's his world. It's, it's the world. And he's a hero. He's a good guy. Like, yeah. it's his... You are all the way onto my side of this little... I have really gangly legs. <laughs> I can't keep them bent for very long. All right. Fine. And I I just have to put them up on things. <laughs> I just touched your foot. I was like, what At least are you I'm doing? not like, hey. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Is it getting warm in here? Um, and so, me. so Alpha is screaming about... He's... Freaking out. Just being an alpha. Just being an alpha. And then Billy goes, I think I think I have a plan. And he like pulls a panel apart. And he goes, well, I connect this negative diode to a wire or something. It's, He's rewiring the morphing grid, yeah. essentially. And uh and Alpha's like, What are you doing? You know, and, and Zach's like, Hey, let him work. <laughs> He's like, Chill out, man. Uh so then we get a sweet montage of parts. <laughs> He's of Billy twisting wires twisting together. Twisting wires and touching them to stuff. <laughs> That's it. And then uh, here is a little tiny Trilly watch. This is yes. all we have. It gets shorter. It doesn't even get a full. It gets shorter every time. It's so small, though. It's it. Uh, Billy is, like, concentrating, and Trini just comes up, puts her hands on her shoulders, and goes, You can do this, Billy. 
And she says, I know you can. Yeah, oh yeah, I know you can. And then and then Kimberly comes up behind Trini and is like, Yeah, come on, Billy. <laughs> yeah, do it. But like it's it's a Trini was much more encouraged. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was it was in a more like personal way. Yeah, like a sincere yeah. personal way. That's it. Truly it for this episode. There's a lot going on. I think Truly Watch might be fizzling out. We'll now, see. Now with the introduction of Tommy, it's the Tommy and Kimberly show, I think. But like it still might be there. It might be. I we mean, we'll see. We'll see. Because I like don't I know. Said, I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So if not, then we just won't talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's Fine. how the, that's how things work. I don't even care. I don't care. But uh, but he did it. He fixed the Morphin Grid, the whole thing, by rewiring a panel. In he hooked up the Direct TV. <laughs> 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 Better, <laughs> I guess. Um, and they can morph, and so they do, and they. They morph, they teleport to where Scorpina is attacking because that's a more pressing thing. Because last episode we said right. we said this is going to be – this is Megazord bait, right? And it wasn't. It wasn't. But I think it was planned to be, but then they got delayed by the, you know, the Morphin Grid going down. Right. And so like – I have a lot of questions about Rita's methods. Okay, lay them on me. We've talked about this before, but why just Angel Grove? That's where the Morphin Grid is strongest. Why not the command center? That's Why not send a giant Goldar to attack to the command center? Because the command center... Is it cloaked from her? Because, but I, they watched, they've watched each other. She can see the <laughs> command center? She just doesn't know where it is. But she can't locate she it? She can't locate it. But she sees it with a... Tell us. Has she ever seen the command center itself, or has she only seen inside of it? Maybe she goes, "Let me see where Jason is." And he's maybe it's a magical center. telescope. Yeah, that's. And I know. I think she's seen the Rangers in the desert in front of it, but maybe she can't see that it's there. I mean, later. I don't know. Later. Like I know they only had so much to work with, but right it's later just the they I want to know they go to the more like to the command center, like Goldar and Rito Revolta yes. go there to blow Re- it up later. Revolto. Revolto. Right. Uh, they go. They go there. Like yeah, they, so right. so they find out about it later, but I think there was a thing in that episode saying how it was cloaked and the cloak is down, so they can get in now. Maybe and it's right. protected from evil because you, oh, you can only get in if you have a power coin. You only get in if you have a power coin. So maybe that extends. But a giant Goldar, can he just unless there's a force field? A force field. Okay, perfect. That's all I need. <laughs> now I'm good. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? I just, I mean, Jason's worried about him wrecking the world, but he's got to. Go through Angel Grove first. It's just the, a weird thing. The to me. reason that they go through Angel Grove is I feel like the, oh, the reason that she has to go through Angel Grove first is because that's where Zordon is, and I feel like this is the only good part of tactical planning is get rid of Zordon and the rest of the world falls. Right. Um, and since he can teleport them anywhere, that like that's true. If she's like, I'm gonna attack New York, they'll just go to they'll New just York. go to New York. So much she might as well go. They to do Angel in Grove. space. They do. Meet the Ninja Turtles. Meet the next mutation, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I love the next mutation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't think it's on Netflix anymore. You can buy it through Show Factory. Might have to buy it. Yeah, Show Factory has it. I wish it was in a single volume. Yeah. But neither is Beetleborgs, and I, I really want to get that too. So You should get that, and then we can, we can do a sub-podcast of that. It's only like 50 episodes. Wasn't there a time we were talking about... Having having to have like filler episodes for the Morphin Grid for some reason. If we caught up, okay, between we episodes, we could watch Beetleborgs, yeah, <laughs> or Mystic Knights of Tina Dog, or Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters from Outer Space. Or, I really want to see that one. Or Ultraman, uh, or VR Troopers. VR Troopers is so good. It was really weird, and it, it's probably terrible, but it was so good when I was a kid. <laughs> I think the dog's name is Jake. I don't remember. Either that or the main character's name is Jake. There was Jake in that show, and that was very important to me. There were no Jakes on television at that time. Jake and Megaforce. Yeah, now. Did you just call it Megaforce? I said Megaforce. Oh, I heard Mecha. I was holding a burp in at the uh, same time, okay, so right. it was weird. Anyway, let's get back to the Power Rangers episode. <laughs> um, so they're fighting Scorpina. She, she has a sting boomerang, like her like sword. She like makes glow, and, yep. throws, and it like hovers around them and like attacks them. It's pretty cool. The way that it worked out. Yeah. And then um, then it goes back to Alpha, and Zordon's coming in. He goes, I'm in Q9. I'm in Sector Q9. So he's trapped in the morphing grid? 
and you have to, you know, cues on the top, nine down the side, meet them meet, up in the middle. Meet them, yeah. <laughs> like battleship. Q9. You, you suck, suck my, my battleship. <laughs> <laughs> you did a new thing. I did the Riddler from Batman Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to... So there's an earthquake going on now because cause Goldar has been left to his own devices. He's just stomping around. So there's an earthquake. Bulk and Skull are in the juice bar eating ice cream. And Bulk is more concerned about ice cream than Earthquake. Right, everyone's leaving because the earth is shaking. <laughs> and Bulk, not Bulk, Skull gets up to leave and Bulk's like, you sit back down. I haven't finished my ice cream yet. And then a giant beam lands on the bar. And he goes, <laughs> or we could leave. <laughs> he like, he downs his ice cream first. He dumps oh, it in his mouth. He? And then he's like, oh god, we can go. <laughs> <laughs> they leave and there's a bus waiting and they go, oh, this will be the fastest way out of town. If we get on this this bus right here. And they do, and they just drive away. And they, they just drive they away steal a, bus. a bus. They stole a bus. Which is... Which, I mean, a giant monster attack. No one's you, watching that You bus. probably won't get convicted. Right. But also, <laughs> like, you'd think that the bus is parked. The door's open. It's, it's running. It's running. Slash the keys are in there because they get it to move. <laughs> you'd think the guy who was driving it would maybe go, everyone get in. Let's all drive away. <laughs> but no, he He's let gone. out and ran. I imagine. But anyway, the footage demands Maybe they there is a bus. It. Uh, no. They're I don't punks. Think, they're punks, but like... But I don't the, think they can hotwire a bus. Think, Never. <laughs> yeah. So the, and the footage, the Z-Ranger footage demands that there's a bus. So there's a bus. Right. So they get in the bus. They drive away. We go back to the command center where Tommy teleports in and his teleport when he's evil is really cool it's like fire it's a green fire bubbling upwards yeah like looks pretty cool so goldar can... has a similar one but it's orange yeah it's orange and gold that's evil teleporting yeah. is is through fire it's through magic not yeah. science and the other one's through electricity ah, which is science yeah yeah <laughs> um so he teleports into the command center because he can get in because he's got a power coin and he he gives alpha a wedgie he he pulls his power switch out, I guess, and Alpha just like bends over, <laughs> like, and then Tom and then Zordon's like flickering in and out. He's he's about fifty yeah. percent back, and then but then we cut away first to the Power Rangers still fighting Scorpina, and then Rita on her penny farthing, which is back, uh, just like you know, hover in there, trash talking right. him. <laughs> Being like, in your face, Power in your Rangers! your face, Power Rangers! <laughs> then, we, then we cut over to Bulk and Skull driving in the... Skull is driving. Bulk is passenging. Uh, they're driving down the road in the bus. And Skull's bad at it, I guess. And Bulk's like, who taught you how to drive? And he went, no one. How am I doing? <laughs> Pretty well. <laughs> Bulk says, you drive like a maniac. He goes, thank you. Hey, was it a compliment? <laughs> oh... Oh, there's ice cream available outside. <laughs> there's ice cream available at the Morphin Grid headquarters. <laughs> Our home office is in Texas, so we hired an ice cream guy to come by. Yeah. And, you know. He only comes around when we're podcasting, though. Go figure. <laughs> oh, no, that's not the only time. There's one, there's a truck. The, oh, yeah. It, ye- it have... yells, hello, and then <laughs> and plays a really annoying song for 10 seconds. We have like a really tricked out van i've seen that at your place yeah. when i'm going to get you hours <laughs> and it's loud because we have insulation in ours you don't hear no not really uh, we have insulation to block sound out but that it does not stop the ice cream truck <laughs> where were we oh also it's like really bumpy and there's no seat belts on the bus and right. and bulk asks why there are no seat belts on the bus <laughs> Which I don't know if that's like a dig at the American Bus Association or whatever. <laughs> but but yeah, so then we cut over to – back to the command center where Tommy is trash-talking Zordon. Like, yeah. either, you're going to die, old man. You're going <laughs> to die in a tube in space. No one cares about you. <laughs> Just being like a little – Little petulant child. He's like, you know, Rita's gonna win. She's gonna take over the earth. Evil's gonna reign supreme. Uh, and and Zordon's like, evil will never take over. Right. Evil will never win. Even though he's <laughs> losing right now. Zordon's losing. At but this he moment. knows that he's not gonna lose the war. 
They've lost the last four battles, <laughs> but they're not going to lose well, the three war. battles at this point. They haven't oh, lost right, the fourth right. battle yet. They you're are right. about to, though. <laughs> um, then we go back to... Oh, no. Um, at this point... Oh, the no seatbelts thing is because Goldar grabbed the bus. I forgot about that. Goldar grabs the bus. Yeah. And just starts shaking it around, going... You know, he's he's it's... like... He's like, there are some, you know, or they're like, the power like, Jason civilians yelled, in yeah. there. And goes like, yes, it's your friend's book and skull. Well, Goldar's first like, I know. They're like, obviously, because it was driving. Right. <laughs> so someone has to be in there. <laughs> you would think. Well, it is Power Rangers. There, there was a spaceship driving down the road once. <laughs> people were in that, but only in the Japanese version. Yep. He's like, yes, I believe it's people you know, your friends, Bulk and Skull. Number one, Goldar, they're not friends. You know that. <laughs> Okay, come on. He knows something we don't. <laughs> He's seen Zio. <laughs> yeah. He must have forgotten about it because <laughs> – anyway. he uh, He's like, I'm going to crush him or throw him on the ground or like whatever unless you surrender. And they're like, oh, we – put him down. Like, they, don't, <laughs> they don't really make a decision. No. <laughs> uh, but then – Stop uh, you. So so Bulk and Skull are in there. I was like, I want, why aren't there seatbelts on here? And Bulk's like, I want my mommy. And Skull's like, yeah, I want your mommy. <laughs> and I mean, we haven't seen uh, Mrs. Bulkmeyer yet, I don't think. No, I There's don't think so. There's a parent day coming up, and no, you Skull, you don't want. You don't want Bulk I think they just said it as a funny line. It was a pretty, a pretty I don't think joke. they meant it as, dude, your mom's like super hot. <laughs> Less Skull's into that. Maybe he is. I don't know. He's not, though. He's into Kimberly. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, I went to. A, I just, <laughs> checked out for a second. I, just checked out. I, was like, I oh. saw you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Walked out of reality. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how this happens. The Power Rangers. They haven't gotten in the Zords yet. They. They're now on a beach. They were in the abandoned warehouse district. Now they're on a beach where the bus is precariously perched on the edge of a cliff, and Squat and Babu have like. Like big trees that they are using as levers, and and putties are just kind of yeah. rocking it back and forth. And so they're they're like, oh, we gotta call the Zords, and you know, actually that's in a, in a second because we go back to the command center where Alpha was just playing possum, and he's he turns around, he's like, eh, force field on the intruder or something, right? Because Tommy's about to do something bad. More bad to the command center. Yeah, he's gonna like blow it up, or it he's seemed, like, "I'm gonna make sure you're lost forever." It seems and then, like he's gonna like <laughs> use the beam. If like this is me extrapolating, but it seems like he's gonna use the beam to like blow up the morphing further grid, further project <laughs> Zordon, or blow the morphing grid up. I don't know, but Alpha his wakes back come up. From the morphing grid too. Right, but his goal is just to eliminate the Power Rangers for Rita. Right, yeah, because he's just evil. He's yeah. brainwashed. Right. Yep. So Alpha pops back up, and he's like, "Nope, not gonna let you," and puts a force field on him. By announcing he's going to put a force field on him and then pushing a button. I thought he commanded the command center. He did push a button. He did push a button? I missed yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, you know, command center, force field on the intruder, but you have to push a button to input the voice command, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Zordon is disappearing. Tommy's trapped. He's like, what? No! <laughs> ah! Oh, crap, Rita. But then he just laughs. He's like, Zordon's probably gone forever he's, anyway. He's, like, he's disappeared anyway. I don't care. Little idiot. <laughs> <laughs> stupid idiot. This is a stupid idiot. Um, and then then we go back to the, the Rangers where they call the Zords um, and they morph together. They combine. The Zords don't morph. <laughs> they, don't. They, they combine together and like they do the whole like use your power crystals. And, right. Like, Let's bring them together. <laughs> Megazord sequence activate initiates and like <laughs> 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 And then it takes so long, though. Like, like the right. bus is falling for like fourteen minutes. Like, <laughs> and then it just catches them. Uh, that reminds me of a funny thing that happened last night, but that's not Power Rangers related. <laughs> what was it? We were watching. Well, Tony was watching Sliders, right? And like something happened where the portal's only open for sixty seconds, but then they talked for like four minutes yeah. while it was still open. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> that's great. Um, but yeah, so they catch the bus with the Megazord, and um, I don't know how much you know about opposing forces. Oh, I know enough to know that catching something <laughs> is going to still damage it. But if you <laughs> just grabbed the bus, 
I, proportionally, grabbing the bus is fine. Like, it's not going to, like, the bus isn't going to crumble under its own weight. Right. But Bulk and Skull are not they're part gonna of the bus. They're going to splat on they're the gonna windshield. Sp- they're going to, yeah, they're going to just Or whichever splat. end of the bus is yeah. down. Unless you, like, grab it in such a way that you're like, mm-hmm. but they don't. They just, no. This they is actually the thing- hit it against the wall when they <laughs> grab it. This is the thing that happens a lot in cartoons and shows like this. Is like especially like if they catch them just before they hit the ground, like they still fell that same distance yeah. and hit something. Yeah, like, like they're not just fine because you caught there them. There needs to be some give. Yeah, like uh, Superman, like the, the original Superman movie, and he's made of steel. If someone, <laughs> like, someone did the math or whatever, and like if Lois was falling for as far as she was for as long as she was. When Superman caught her, because he was flying upwards, like that's yeah. that's another opposing force. It would have just cut her into three pieces <laughs> or four, because her legs would have been right, uh, you know, separated. Separated. But instead, he just flew away with her, because <laughs> it's not as fun <laughs> if you show that. Right. What you have to do is fly down at them and then kind of swoop. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You'd go with them, match them, and then redirect their momentum. Yep. Um, anyway, this has been science cast science and, and physics ish. <laughs> it's this has been people who kind of know a little bit about science cast <laughs> uh, enough to be dangerous. <laughs> Rita is like, yes, my plan's working because you know they be, they turn to the Megazords. So she throws the wand to make, which at some point she w- went down to Earth to grab it because she made Goldar big with the wand. So she had to. She has just a closet full of magic wands. <laughs> Oh, there's just a bunch of wands littered all over the place. That'd be sweet. <laughs> she has a room. That, that club is huge. She has a room. It is. Just for magic just for wands. wands. Uh, that would be neat. That's go, <laughs> that's going into um, Billy learning magic, whatever that show is that we – do you remember that? No. After the Madam Woe episode, it's like they all get trapped and Billy's out there. So he has to like – Right. He has to go about <laughs> learning dark magic to get him out. Right. Because he's the only one left. A million wands would be in that coming to Sci-Fi Channel this fall. <laughs> <laughs> Billy the oh, the guy, <laughs> Billy the show. <laughs> it's not as good as Evil Space High. I can't. They're not all winners, all right. Uh, anyway, let's get back on track for a minute. We're almost done with the episode too. Uh, yeah. So it's a it's a it's a it's not a short episode. It's the same length as they usually are. But it's not as dense. No, it, there's a lot that goes on, but it's all. It's not like. Part of it is just a montage of Billy twisting wires it's, together. The like, last episode, it cut a lot. It cut back and forth between like five different places. Yeah. So it felt like it was like moving. Yeah. This one f- was pretty well paced, I would say. Like, because there's, you know, there's less places that they need to go. So then they make Scorpion a giant, and she is hideous. Oh, she is absolutely. This, this, this is why Goldar fell in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is this. Uh, Definitely. Because she's ugly to him when she's normal. Right? Yeah. They're not hit, ugly, but she's, she looks like a human. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, you know, whatever. But, you know, he saw her monstrous and he's like, oh. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How you living? <laughs> they call the power sword. Down. They get knocked down because they're – he's getting – the Megazord's getting double teamed. He's getting eclipsed also. Yes. And, and yes, the eclipse has started. So the solar – the solar panels. Solar panels. No, do not. <laughs> the solar batteries. Battery, something like that, is losing power. Power cells. Solar power cells. It's Whatever. only solar powered this episode. Obvi- <laughs> the Megazord is solar powered, but it doesn't store any of that energy. It just uses it immediately. Right. So <laughs> the simple solution is just attack them at night, Rita. <laughs> But instead, I'm going to wait for an eclipse. I don't get him then. No, she didn't wait for an eclipse. She made an eclipse. She went through all this trouble of making she an did. eclipse. <laughs> she could have just waited till nighttime. <laughs> Rita, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so they get they call the power sword down because they're flat on their back. The they power get, sword gives them power. Gives them power. Enough to like... They jump back up and start fighting right again. back up. So it's the power sword. It's like a battery. Yeah. Um, and so they, they managed to knock back Scorpina and Goldar. But then Rita teleports. She magics Tommy out of the force field. Right. And I think that – like Alpha doesn't understand. He's like, how did – what? How did you get out of the – but it was just – it was black magic. Just, yeah. The teleporter force field, I guess, that he used 
probably protects against regular or like right. their kind of teleportation. Or like if he would to try to get himself out, like because he couldn't get out. But if somebody else called him out, right? Like, maybe that's the the loop the loophole. Maybe. Um, but anyway, she used magic to pull him out of there, right? As and, opposed to him just teleporting and then out, made him grow. Yep. So now it's three on one. When Vars- he grew his shield, got Megazord. much nicer. Yes, <laughs> and evened it out. <laughs> you said it looks like someone's grandma sewed it. Sewed it together. They got some shiny gold fabric from Walmart. And the thin, uh, like, couch. Couch foam. Yeah, couch layers. foam, yeah. Um, yeah, it looks bad. <laughs> the American stuff. Oh, so then Scorp- so they're fighting. Now it's three on one. Scorpina shoots her tail at uh, Megazord. It wraps it around right his in the neck. Face. Wraps around his neck and stabs into his face. His face. Earlier, sapping some of the battery power out. Earlier, Billy's like, watch out for the stinger. Uh, thanks, Billy. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I wasn't going to watch for Scorpina's stinger. Isn't that the rule with anything scorpion-based? Watch out for the stinger? Yeah, that's how they like, fight. That's the thing about scorpions. <laughs> that what, that's what makes them different from spiders, is that they have a stinger. Well, Billy thought he was helping. I and mean, it turns out they didn't they look out didn't for watch it. For, and it hit him in the eyes. Irony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. <laughs> um, then, so the, the sting knocks the Power Rangers out of the Megazord. Does it? it? If it's not the sting, something happens right afterwards. To I know they're it. they're being triple teamed for a little yeah, while, and they, they're getting their butts kicked. They get knocked out. They're on the they get they land on the ground, and then they demorph immediately because you know sometimes that happens. Also, if they weren't morphed and they fell out of the Megazord, they would die. Yeah, that's the other good also, part about the, morphing. <laughs> They unmorphed uh, because the power grid or the morphing grid is still not it's completely flickering. stable. It's looking for Zordon. Because even Billy said, he's like, I think we can morph now. Like, <laughs> right. I think I got enough power that we can do we that. We got one morph in us. <laughs> We're going to use it well. Um, but then, so, so they're out of the Megazord. A crack in the earth opens up and Megazord is thrown into it. Yep. And all of – we get to watch all of the Zords – Melt and die, including the Tyrannosaurus who lives in a crack. Who lives in a volcano crack in the earth. And and, and so does the, <laughs> the pterodactyl. Whatever. It's not, not the point right now. They are, uh, like, upset about it. Uh, Jason's like, Azords! It's but like it's, a far shot of them standing, and he just voiced that over it. Yeah, um, and then they, they go through these, and they're kind of cheesy, but, like, I understand the emotion they're trying to get over. Right. It's like, our swords were always there for us when we needed them. Well, Kimberly's just like, they're totaled! They're totaled! <laughs> She's worried about property damage. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't have insurance! Well, no, because she's just, she's a teenage girl. She thinks totaled just means it's really messed up. It's rude. Like, it, she doesn't... She's not connecting it to a monetary value. Right, right. She just says – she's saying they're ruined. They're total. She doesn't know how else to say it. All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> then but then – go ahead. Yeah. Then we, we go back to the – yeah. Uh, Billy's like, they were always there for us when we needed them. And the one time – And then Trini's post, like, you know, they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> and it's like – it's them trying to like force emotion. Yeah. Like I feel like this is like their fifth take and the director's like, just whatever. Just say it. And they're like, all right. We'll just try to get it out. Then we cut back to the command center where everyone is bummed. Everyone is like, <laughs> this is the fourth time in a row that they have gotten their butts handed to them. Yeah. Like. They're not having any fun. That's Jason, sure. Jason tries to rally because Alpha's like, "What, Billy, what are the percent chance you can get the Megazord working again? Or that you can get the power back on? And he's like, 10%. Less than 10%. Less than 10%. And Jason's like, isn't any amount. Like a good enough reason, right? The smallest amount of good of winning, a good enough reason to to try. try. So he's like trying to rally them, and no one cares. They're all like, "Whatever, Jason." And he zacks in his face, like, "Dude, we're done. We're done." <laughs> she had a trump card, and she played it, and we're done. Yeah, Green Ranger was a trump card. She played it, and we're done. <laughs> oh, this is sad. This is sad. Sad episode. They've all given up, and the, <laughs> four of them have given up, and then they convinced Jason convinced to give they, up. Convinced they beat Jason's spirits down. <laughs> but, but there is one little glimmer of hope, and not really hope, just another glimmer of despair that now they know about is Alpha has been running a scan on all the humans in the world to match the Green <laughs> Ranger's body. His bio signal. His bio signal to the humans. Right. And so there's like this, like 
really low quality YouTube. <laughs> it's like 140p. Right. <laughs> Uh, or 120p, I guess, is the lowest that YouTube goes. I don't know how that works. Um, well, there's 480, 360, 240, and then I'm guessing 120, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's 180? I don't know. Anyway, not the point. Not the point. <laughs> they, uh, it, like, slowly spins around, and the Green Ranger is Tommy! But we get all their reactions we, yeah. before, before we see it's before Tommy. We see like, it. we see the back of him, and it's obviously Tommy, because he's is, wearing what he was wearing at the karate fight. Which is weird, because we've known it's been Tommy for four episodes and, <laughs> now. But it starts on Zack, and he's like, he's like looking at it, and then you can see when he realizes right. it. He's like, oh, no way. And then Jason's like, I don't believe it. I don't it. believe it. And uh, Trini's like, Kimberly, you have to see this. <laughs> no, she's just like, Kimberly, look. <laughs> Kimberly's and then it looking. cut to Kimberly, and I was like, I am, Trini. I am looking. <laughs> She's like, no way. <laughs> oh, man. Like, Tommy? <laughs> that's not how she says at all. <laughs> I think it's closer than you want to believe it is. It's not. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, and then the, the, the episode ends. Yeah, because it ends on his pixelated face in yeah. the viewing globe. Uh, but, like, here's the thing. Why reveal in that dramatic a manner something, we've something known we already for knew for four episodes? You know, like I feel like there was a different way they could have done it. Well, I mean, they needed to to show the Rangers' surprise, I guess. Like, yeah, and we already knew it was Tommy, so they didn't need to show it being Tommy while they showed their reaction. Right. I mean, there could have there could have been a different way to do it that would have, yeah. Like, if we would have seen it rotating more, and then, like, instead of just seeing... Maybe if it would have ended on Kimberly after the reveal. Like, it's revealed to be Tommy, and then it's right. Kimberly goes, no way. And then it cuts back to showing Tommy. Yeah. That would have been different, because it would have been like, look, they figured it out. Not like, right. look, see who it is? <laughs> you bet you didn't know that, it's, even though you did. Even though there's, If you've seen the last... If you've seen any episodes of Green <laughs> with Evil, you know it's Tommy. But anyway, that's it. That's that's the episode in the books. Final thoughts. I don't know. I don't like this part. I don't, I don't, you don't know like how to start. Final thoughts? You I, always ask me for final thoughts, but I can't start them. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> well, I can't ask myself for final thoughts. I'm not that big of a no, maniac. No, but I mean, we just spent forty minutes talking about it. What do you mean by final? It's, okay, all right, all right, yeah, no, you're right. I by it works better outside of a five part episode, right? Because like when we're talking about switching places, you say here how the episode as a whole. Now that we've just talked about the whole we're, thing, but we're technically not done with this. But episode. we're not done with this this very long episode. Um, yet. So I mean, yeah, I don't have any more to say about it. Yeah, we'll we'll be back tomorrow for the final installment. See how this all shakes down, because it's not looking good. Shakes like Shaq in that in that Old Spice commercial. Maybe it's not Old Spice. Oh, Icy Hot? Yeah, he sprays yeah. it on him. He's like, ooh. <laughs> Maybe it's Gold Bond. Maybe it is Gold Bond. <laughs> anyway, this is, concludes Shaq Cast. <laughs> Tune in next week where we watch Steel. There's a gif of that that just keeps going. Yes, there is. <laughs> oh, man. I just thought of the movie Steel, and now I need to watch it. Oh, I was thinking Kazam? Shazam. It's Kazam. Is it Kazam? It's Kazam. <laughs> oh, scrub. We should do a Shaq cast then. And then we'll play Shaq Fu? Shaq. <laughs> Was, they're trying to kickstart a new Shaq? A new one. I'm in. Like a sequel. Let me let me check out the video. I might get some money to do it. <laughs> I rented Shaq Fu so many times again. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, anyway, that's, that's it for the episode. We're going to end it here because uh, we have to do one more episode today. Record one more episode today. Maybe. Come on. We'll see. Man, if we finish it, we don't have to record again this week. Well, we still have to record one for next week. We can do that Sunday. Let's just do one more. Let's knock All right, out. yeah, let's just stop okay. so we can knock All one right. out. So, thanks for listening. Internet stuff, morphingrid.tumblr.com, lilies.morphingrid.gmail.com. On Twitter, we're at morphingrid. We're on iTunes. Leave a review if you like. Thanks for listening. I just want to get that out because I said it so many times today that I'm getting sick of hearing myself say it. We're going to say it one more time. One more time, though. Well, technically two. Two. <laughs> two more times. One more episode. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. I had fun with this episode. I finally got some energy in me. And until next time. May the may force the be with you. Oh, why did oh, you do what? that to me? Is that wrong? The force. <laughs> the force. Uh, let's try it again. The morphing grid is basically the force. No. 
because only Andros has telepathic, telekinetic powers. And he's from KO35. He has really weird fingernails because he's an alien, I guess. Did he? He They're like long and dirty. (laughs) Anyway. Anyway. May May the the power power protect you. you. Why we are you go Whoa, what happened with your throat? <laughs> Let's delete that. I will. I will start over. <laughs>